In this problem, we are using factor theorem, which says that if P of R is equal to zero, then the polynomial X minus R is a factor. So we're, we can use synthetic division to find out if P of R is equal to zero, if the remainder is zero. Um, since this function for number 10 is not factorable by grouping or any other method that kind of stands out. What we're going to do is we're going to graph the function, press y equals, enter the function, use this for x, this for the power, and enter the function here and press graph. And we can see that it seems like negative 4 is one of the factors because negative 4 seems to be an x-intercept. We press trace, we put negative 4, and in fact negative 4 is equal to 0, f of negative 4 or p of negative 4. So we're going to show that. This is how we show our work. This is the calculator's work. And we're going to show that algebraically we understand that the remainder will be zero. So we're going to do synthetic division. We will bring the one down. You put the, all the coefficients here. If there are any missing, you change. You put zero in the place of it. So for example, if there was no x squared term, you would have put zero here. We are really dividing by x plus 4. This is a shortcut using synthetic division to divide by x plus 4. You bring the 1 down, 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. You add down, you get negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 4 is 20. Add down, we get 6. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. And the remainder is 0. So since the remainder is 0, that means p of negative 4 is equal to 0, and x plus 4 is a factor. So we now find the remaining factors by factoring the quotient, which is x squared minus 5x plus 6. And that factors into x minus 2 times x minus 3. And we can verify by seeing that when x is 2, y is 0, and when x is 3, y is 0. So if we are going to re-graph the graph over here, the y-intercept is at 24. When x is 0, y is 24. We have an x-intercept at negative 4 and 1 at 2, and 1 at 3. So the graph looks like this. Okay, and the factors are x plus 4 times x minus 2 times x minus 3. 